Welcome back to Seduce Me with Jackie and Isabel. And uh, we left on a bit of a cliffhanger last time. <laughs> Is this a cliffhanger? Not really, no. Buttercup is about to faint. Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, <laughs> and these are my brothers. You didn't you Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Oh my god. They chose really good voice actors. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Y you done good voice actors. Yeah, I like the voice actors. Um... Miss, are you okay? No. Two of you just stole all my <laughs> energy, you jerks. Shit. She fainted. I told you. I told you I was going to. I couldn't believe it. Incubi. Real. It all spun around in my head until I saw only black. Fainting sucks. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the incubi's lips against mine. <clears throat> However, I began to feel the smooth silk around me, and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Are you in a bed? Hmm? Where? Probably. I awoke <clears throat> to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was my mom? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. That's a pretty nice room, though. It is. Mm. Yeah, a fireplace. Flat screen TV. Aw, uh, yeah. Bed could be bigger, but it's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wait. I lived at my grandfather's house now. Of course, it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. Won't you know all the rooms in your grandparents' house, though? Well, probably not the bedrooms as much. Especially if you live in the same city as them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I woke up in my grandma's house, I'd know where I was. Well, does your grandma live in a mansion? No. So, there you go. <laughs> I was still in the clothes that I had arrived at the house in. Good. Can I just say? Good. Good. I'm glad they didn't do that Good. whole, like... Oh, I'm just gonna undress you to so that you're comfortable and put you in your jammies. No, don't. Gross. But I was lying in a silk covered bed. I remembered coming in the afternoon, so why was it nighttime already? Oh, silk sheets. Oh my gosh. I want silk sheets. Oh, that'd be so awful. No, it would feel so nice. Have you ever felt silk? Silk is like the nicest. Okay, but like. Like, there's a reason it's hella expensive. I feel like that would be very sweaty. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <clears throat> Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry. I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized that I wasn't alone. They were <gasps> sitting there watching you. That's cool. You're awake. Mm, yes, I am. Can I help you? Okay, Edward. <laughs> Huh? Yeah! The proper reaction. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Good girl, Buttercup. Since when was he standing there? And who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom? Did we? I think you would. Well, you were fully, well, you're fully close. There's so. no way! Hmm. <laughs> hey, sorry, I think I was saying my thoughts out loud. <laughs> Why was I apologizing? <laughs> apologizing to a stranger who only said two words since I woke up. Wait, he looked eerily familiar. Then it all came back to me. Uh-oh. Incubus. Yes, Incubus. <laughs> he was an Incubus. He and his brothers came here for refuge, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted. And that was how things came to this. Oh! Uh. Say Aww. something. Oh, he's kind of cute. He was leaning against the far wall looking at me. My heart began to race as I thought of the endless list of possibilities the situation brought me. I hated the thought of being under an incub incubus's power, especially in a bedroom. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean... Like, I know that they're pretty chill. Like, right? So we don't need to, like, freak out, right? I guess it depends on what kind of... What kind of buttercup we want to be. Yeah. <clears throat> it 
seems to me like Buttercup would jump up and protect herself. Okay. I instantly jumped up and grabbed a pillow, covering myself with it. I felt stupid, yes, but <laughs> who, who knew what this guy could do? A pillow, my only weakness. <laughs> Do your worst. This time, I'm prepared. The pillow fight. <laughs> Aw, did I hurt your feelings? He didn't move. I guess he wasn't going to attack me. Do you have a sore throat or something? <laughs> My breath. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. One thing still concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Okay, thanks, bruh. It's pretty cheap if you do. Huh? How? I can read minds. It's an ability mm. I was born with. Mm -hmm. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. <clears throat> Great. Even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation that I was in. Even more surprises. Sorry, you did that in kind of like a little... Southern accent. No, I didn't. And, but you did No, I bit. didn't. I see. How long have I been asleep? Five days. For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Oh, you're so cute. Ah, uh, well, where are the others? Dead. My brothers are downstairs, them. cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Good, good. If you're going to be living in my house, you should be making me dinner every night. Well, I don't think we've arranged that they're going to be living in, in the house. If you're going to be living in my house, you better be making me dinner every night. Yeah. I hope they're that they're good cooks. Oh, okay. That's unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home. The two of us using oh, our powers on you. Puppy dog eyes. Oh, it's like Mr. Wolf all we over. We can't fall for the sweet ones again. But the sweet ones. <sighs> You've got a point. Yes, he does. Right. I had forgotten about that. It still irked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Oh, well, the second time you practically act, the second time you kind of asked for it. Not that that's an excuse. But you did <coughs> ask them to use your power. <laughs> Techn technically, you did. Technically, <laughs> but still. Um. Even if they were demons, it was pretty rude to demonstrate their powers by kissing me. I wasn't some kind of human plaything. I'm really curious as to what everybody else's powers are, actually. Yeah, like, me too. I want to know. All of this seemed pretty unusual. It was like something out of those romance novels that Naomi sometimes read. Mm, Naomi's reading that kind of romance spell. Aw, yeah. She's like, oh, I guess they're all 18. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I wish I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten all about this. <laughs> <clears throat> Your life will change forever. Maybe I should have just called the police on them. Then I would have never landed myself in this situation. That's true. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Probably. Did she jump up? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! I guess not. <laughs> Trust me. I won't let you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this. I... Promise. Uh, no, that I want you to put me down, actually, is what that means. No, Buttercup! <laughs> Buttercup! <laughs> okay, okay, Stranger Isabel, 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 what you need to understand, okay, what you need to understand is that it's trying to let you see so small facets of each one of them I... before you decide to pick I, a route to take. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I trust you, because you definitely aren't some kind of weird scary thing or anything. Good. <laughs> Good. That, okay, so like, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was speechless. He was carrying me as if I weighed nothing. He was so strong. He's a demon. 
Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Don't you dare read my mind. <laughs> eh? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You should probably stop doing that. It's all right. I'm used to it. I'm not. I decided to close my mouth for the time being so that I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than they already well, were. Well, it would be less awkward if he would put you down. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk, so at least things weren't too Oh, strange. we get to see her pants! She's wearing, like, cute blue leggings. Cute! Those are jeans. No. Those look are at, jeans. Look at how tightly those are on her legs. Skinny jeans. Leggings. Jeans. <clears throat> Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, probably because he's spending the whole time reading everyone's minds, especially with the situation we were in. <laughs> However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in admiration. Okay. <laughs> Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it felt like he was... It was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. Yeah, that would be mortifying. I don't know. I think if I were in this situation, like, and I was Buttercup, and I was like, okay, yeah, cool, you can carry me, I don't think I would mind having him just carry me around. I like being carried around. Probably because I'm extremely lazy, and if I didn't have to walk, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for carrying me, but I think I can walk all by myself now. I'm a big girl now. Not saying that I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it. Not in a weird way, of course. It's not like I get carried around all the time. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice <laughs> of you to do that, okay? I definitely don't have a lady boner right now. I started to fumble over my words again, real smooth. <laughs> it's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. All right, see you. <laughs> he gently lowered me to the ground <clears throat> before he walked off quietly. Quickly. <laughs> no, it's quietly, but I'm saying he walked off quickly. Yes, cause he did <laughs> walk off quickly. He soniced off the screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disappearing into the shadows of the dark lobby. <clears throat> oh. Hi. Oh, hello, peppy young one. Suddenly, a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, you're Matthew, right? Mm-hmm. That's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. Okay, so he's the nice, like, little peppy, like, cute baby one. I'm fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? Oh my god, Matthew, I'm in a house with five men who have the ability to just seduce me in, like, a minute. Uh, yep. Like, there's a reason my face is red. Just a little bit. No, I'm fine. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I must have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Mm -mm. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. Um, they did. They did. It's okay. After all, I did hit Sam after what he did. And about Eric, I just wanted you guys to prove to me what you were saying. I suppose Incubi are real, then. I wondered how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then a fight with my father, blowing up at Lizette, and now this. I certainly had a knack for getting myself into sticky situations. I mean, you... I mean, the... I mean, really only the last one was your doing... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. I just want to eat. He shoved his hands into his pockets with a cheery grin on his face. Okay, I'm suspicious. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm still suspicious. Is he trying to do a magic trick? It's his special power. We're, we're going to get to see all their special powers. Yay! Ta-da! Oh, it's, oh. A, oh, it's oh. A, a demon squirrel. <laughs> All right. Um, what is that exactly? It's my first. Oh my god, it's got a knife! Yeah, it has a knife! Holy crap, I didn't that? notice the knife! That just... He smiled as if, it, as if to wave it off, and when he opened his eyes and saw what he was holding, his face froze in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? This, this is... 
Uh, a, a demon's quarrel? <clears throat> what he produced from his pocket was a creepy looking doll. Oh, it's doll. a doll. Good. I'm glad it's not, um, uh, alive. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, you, you're the one who made it. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, speaks. Creepy. His face paled considerably and he dropped it onto the floor, scooting away from it frantically. Alright, that's not- <laughs> Get it away from me! You might be possessed by a demon or something! <laughs> I looked at that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> um... But isn't he a demon himself? That's not what I wanted to make! I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up! That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie! <laughs> <laughs> he slumped his shoulders and looked down at his feet. Oh, it's okay. It's a thought that counts. Aw, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's certainly unique. Should we keep it or keep it? But it looks so creepy. It's cute. It's a thought that counts. <laughs> it's, a th <laughs> it's a thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up after all, plus. I think the monsters are cute. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Monsters are cute. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and I think with that creepy squirrel thing that that's where we should end the episode. So this has been another episode of Seduce Me, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs>